Hello and welcome to another episode of Honest to a Malt with uh, myself, Duncan and Mike, aka Two Puds, as you're all familiar <laughs> with now. <laughs> he loves it. He absolutely loves it. not catching on. You're trying, it's not catching. I was a little disappointed because we had lots of engagement after the um, the last episode, Pudding Island Drams, yeah. and uh, nobody actually referenced, maybe only one person referenced the fact that you're, you've legally changed your name to Two Puds. So. <laughs> <laughs> Depot. By Depot, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two puts. Put pudding dos. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Mike, what's the name of the episode today, my friend? So today's episode, we are episode twenty, and uh, the episode title is "Celebrity Top Trumps." Yeah, yeah. Who is top of the Trumps? Yeah. Top Trumps. Yeah. Top Trumps. Yeah. Celebrity Ooh. Top Trumps. Sam Hewen versus Jensen Button. Oh, see, you went in with the pronunciation. I was hoping you'd mess that up straight from the no, office. I, but no, I wanted to check to be respectful to them. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're getting, we're, it's only taking 20 episodes and we're, we're, uh, we're getting super, uh, super amateur, top, top level of amateur, right? <laughs> <laughs> Semi pro. <laughs> Researched amateur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna do um, uh, top trumps between the two of them. Um, we want to say thanks very much to, for um, all the engagement really from um, last week about Pudding yeah. Island Drams. So some really great stuff. So should we kick off by recapping that first? I think it was yourself that had the genius idea of uh, putting the the actual idea out to the public, and people got involved. We had loads of engagement on that one. I think um, some of my favourites: Andrew, who's Pad Whiskey, Glen Cadam Ten with a vanilla custard slice. And then Queens of the Stone Age was his music. And then yeah. uh, he wanted his missus to pick him up, which, you know. Yeah. Hey, I, mean, I, I know it's, it's been a month, but it's no Dave Grohl, mm, mate. It's not, <laughs> Andy, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I pointed out that maybe there might be more adventurous choices. And um, he said that he would get, but maybe he'd catch a ride on Airwolf with his wife, with Barry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think. As Barry's flying over with his Airwolf soundtrack. Yeah. Um, yeah. Amazing. Uh, there was loads of good stuff. People were saying people's whiskey choices were things like uh, Anok 18, um, any first fill 10 to 12 year old Glen Scotia, um, Springbank 12 cask strength. Yeah. Uh, See, what else do we have? Cliff went like call cool release Arbeg 10. Arbeg 10, yeah. And I was like, yes, thank you. Keeping it in, keeping it real. Yeah. And I think we had uh, Paul Whitson was going with Bunnahabin 25. Mm -hmm. So again, following your rule of just going. Uh, guns out but yeah. yeah i think lee j brown was very close to you uh ben nevis 10 sort of slightly younger one than yours yeah. sticky toffee pudding and oasis it was apparently a band um <laughs> did you know that mike band yeah i've listened band. to them a lot this week and yeah uh i quite like this stuff it's good Could catch it's on never that, too late think. in life to to you know to, to get yeah. to know a new band is it right i think someone's gonna sign them up and they're gonna do <laughs> they're gonna get signed they, they could yeah, be big <laughs> They're going to be stars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, then um, on the pudding front, um, sticky toffee pudding was a really popular choice Yeah, uh, from I people. I yeah. don't know why. Just well, you're all weird. I mean, you're all uh, weird. Uh, yeah, I, well, I mean, you can't argue with uh, with data, right? Uh, people, I, I, I can argue with data. Who wants sticky toffee pudding, hot sticky toffee pudding when you're on a tropical island? I can't remember. Someone else threw out, uh, like, uh, what was it? I'm well, well someone said rhub rhubarb crumble and custard, which is delicious, but also a hot pudding, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I mean, like, I was, don't uh, get me wrong. Um, restless I native. can appreciate that, but whiskey resource, rich iced fruit cake. No, <laughs> I don't want <laughs> wedding cake on a Caribbean island. Essentially. <laughs> That's the line in the sand there for you. Yeah, done, crossed. You're yeah. dead to me. You're Overs not. Overstep but. the mark. There were some great choices of music. Anyway, it was. It was really nice to see people picking out, um, going along with the sort of thirty-day idea and yeah. choosing what they'd have. So thanks very much for all of the um, all of the engagement. Yeah, yeah, it was good to like look at my phone and go, "What the hell's happened here?" So I had, like so many notifications, and it's like, ah, well mm. done, Duncan. Well done, King of Engagement. Good, good topic. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. the right content. Fair. Yeah, it's, it's all about the content. So um, are you going to ask me something, then, Mike? Yes, Duncan. What's in your glass? And what have you been drinking this week? What's in your glass? What's in your glass? Tell me, Duncan, what have you been drinking this week? 
we did a lovely um, Benriac tasting with uh, PS whiskey uh, over the weekend. Five uh, 46 percent samples. I did, it did strike me that when you're doing tasting notes, it is more difficult when it's 46 percent or lower, I think. But um, mm. I think three of them repeated. That was pretty good. And I've finished off a couple of heels on bottles. A bottle of Talisker 10 was put to rest. And I finally managed to finish off a bottle of SMWS. Um, God, what's it called? It was something like Incense in an Orchard. It was a bottle of Glen, yeah. Glen Tockers. Um, so, yeah, Empty. I just did a bit of tidying. Yeah, really. Oh, just and tidy it up. Yeah, it's casual. Yeah, casual. And I revisited the SE 11 as well um, from Black Fox Distillery. Nice. And, uh, yeah, it's still super rich um, and bold. So that's probably been in my glass. Um, Are you liking that more as it gets, as it goes down? Um, it's very it rich. Now maintaining. Very bold. I don't know if I am totally in love with it. I th- I th- it's a hard, it's a hard one for me to categorize. You yeah. know, uh, it's sweet and sour, right? Because it's so, so different, I suppose. But, I think yeah. so. I find it really interesting. That's probably the best way I could say it. Right? Mm. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, f- I'm, yeah, I'm sort of waiting for the bottle to be empty so I can use it as a decanter because it's <laughs> got like the uh, the cool sand drift in the bottom, hasn't it? And yeah, yeah, it's got a glass stopper in it. It's pretty dope. So you could turn it into a lamp. That's an idea no one's ever run with. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> then we could put those lamps in trees and take pictures of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what's been in your glass then? So this week I have been, again, not being lazy, but didn't really make that many trips to the summer house. So I decided to tuck into some of the things in my house. And that is a lot of completely random, unknown infinity bottles. Right. So my home blend. Um yeah, so I've just been going through that. I put it into a little nice crystal decanter. Um, and yeah, just been tucking into those. So yeah, can't give you any specifics, unfortunately, but right. and can't say I've got an eye for blending. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you've been cracking into. what I can take away of it, yeah. Has anything been getting on your, I mean, it's, been, it's only been a week, but has anything been getting on your nerves last week? Uh, anything time, been up your arse? Time's been getting up my arse. Right. How is it nearly the end of summer already? Um I can't believe football started today. Like yeah. The first... Championship games today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, or yesterday, sorry. Um, and yeah, I, I'm like, where on earth has time gone? And it's, yeah, it's making mo- life, uh, momentous life occasions seem very imminent. How yeah, stuff just speeds flying. along. Uh, that's mm. true. We're just organising at the moment for um, our daughter's fourth birthday, which is, isn't too far off. And um, that four years has gone super quickly. <laughs> and uh, the weather keeps catching me out. So, you know, you've got a dog as well, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, do you, actually, do you want to share the name of your dog? Cause My quite... dog's name is Barley. Yeah, Barley. <laughs> <laughs> Named after whiskey. I did want to call him Pete, but my missus said she sounded like a chav if she was yeah. shouting Pete in a field. Yeah, so Mike, um, you've got your dog is um, it's a cross between what is it again? It's, it's he very is cute. A Frenchy bulldog, well, French bulldog cross cocker spaniel. So he's a frocker. That's it, frocker. Yeah, yeah, he's really nice. Um, yeah, so he, you've you've got a dog, so you'll understand this. You know, we've got a cavalier called Leo, and uh, you you got to walk him right, and you mm-hmm. to take him for a decent amount of exercise every day, and at the moment. You're just, you can't tell if it's going to rain or not. Like no. the weather just says, this is the thing that annoys me most and nothing you can do about it. Weather just says high chance of rain. And you look out and you go, <laughs> ah, I should be all right. And you'll start walking. You'll be somewhere like half an hour away from where you live. And then it'll just start to rain. Oh no. Do you know what I was told the other day as well, which I don't know if it's rubbish or not. So please someone let me know if this is incorrect. So you, you look at like an app on your phone and it's mm. got like your precipitation, say 60%. That yeah. doesn't mean there's a 60% likelihood of rain. That means within your region, it, there will be rain covering 60% of it. Right. At any one point. Yeah. Which I was like, that can't, that's stupid. Completely isn't about the actual chances of rain. So don't base it on that. If there's any sort of percentage, it's going to rain. Right. Yeah. Well, if there's any, right, so if there's like 10% rain, so on, on BBC weather, if it says 10%, what does that mean? So ten percent of say your postcode area, right? We'll get we'll rain. Have, we'll have rain. Right. Okay. If it says like eighty percent, then eighty yeah. percent of the postcode area is going. So it's not eighty percent chance of rain. No. 
oh my days, I've just learned something. I know. But please tell me if this is complete BS because I've been told this and I was like, that can't be correct. So someone out there, please respond and let me know. Any meteorologists, do let me know. Right. Okay. Well, I'd like to know as well. But that's yeah. the thing that's been uh, most bugging me, just the uh, the uncertainty of knowing whether it's going to rain or not when you're walking the dog on a decent walk and getting <laughs> caught. And also, I lost. I can't find my waterproof. I know it's around somewhere. So I've been having to go out. It's like rolling the dice every time you leave the house, right? Yeah. I got right. absolutely drenched when I took him out yesterday. I sort of like looked. It was clear skies, walked over to the fields behind my house and literally got two meters inside the field and just started hammering down yeah, but you're, I was in you're, a t-shirt and shorts i was like yeah but oh, barley I'm committed now yeah no i get that but also but barley has short hair right yeah yeah, yeah. whereas leo yeah, has really course. long hair yeah he has short coarse hair whereas leo yeah. has fine sort of not long fairly long hair and so when he gets wet you have to dry him for ages <laughs> and he, <laughs> he got to get the hair dryer out so it's a real effort so do i do his nails yeah oh. Yeah, and then he got to redo his nails because you'll have ruined his manicure. Yeah, he insists <laughs> on it. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a real, it's a you know, you have to actually time things. It's actually quite yeah. annoying, right? Something. You Hopefully, really have to judge. by the time people are listening to this, the weather's actually turned. So I think we're going to get a little bit of sunshine. Again, mm, fingers nice. crossed. Fingers so crossed. You can all jump on your your uh, iced fruit cake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fruit fruit cake imminent. Yeah. <laughs> ah <laughs> oh, dear me all right so um celebrity top jumps featuring yes. sam hewan versus jensen button so both sam hewan and jensen button have their own whiskeys or involved with uh with mm. uh, uh whiskeys they've both got blended blends basically right blended blends blended blends but well not <laughs> no, okay so it's a not, new category not blended malt it's it, the actual blend so it'll yeah. be a mixture of malt and grain Right? Yeah, specifically. So what we're doing is we get. I don't know. Do you remember Top Trumps? I do remember Top Trumps, and do you know how I remember Top Trumps even more recently? Because if you remember when we went to watch Richard Herring, he actually gave out Top Trumps for all his guests that he's yes, had on he his did. podcast, which was pretty cool. Yeah. But no, I used to love Top Trumps. I'd spend hours doing it with the old um, cars. It's like naught to sixty. I've actually got. Everything else. I've got those. Yeah, I remember the earliest memory I have of Top Trumps. I've actually got that. Um, Get in the Ferrari, you basically. Real, st real st Trumps. I've got those. Realistapa. Realistapa, that's it. I've actually, I, my earliest memory was of being at um, primary school, playing mm. like sort of Russia versus America type military weapon top chumps in the playing ground. And, you know, you'd have like oh, yeah. big, you know, big machine. Well, that's the that's one of the ones I remember. It must have been a really good pack, right? I mean, I remember <laughs> lots of late in later life. Yeah. The, the nuclear pack. <laughs> yeah. Cold you know, War things like, edition things like fire jets in there and like missile launches and that kind of stuff it was really it was really uh that was one of the ones i remember anyway you know from being like what would we have been like six years old playing top trumps in the playground yeah yeah, yeah. or seven or something days. with your mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> with your, <laughs> with your military it's frowned weapons. upon as a 40 year old man um yeah. but yeah <laughs> so uh the re re uh, real stupper is that right Relistapa. Relistapa, right? You, yeah, you're you're a big fan of Richard Herring. Um, mm. I obviously uh, have not listened to enough. Um, so the Relistapa ones, they've got age appearances, media buzz, YouTube views, and Shrexiness. Shrexiness. Shrexiness, <laughs> like sexiness. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So we'll do something, um, you know, not a million miles away from that in terms of categories, right, uh, on the two of them. Um, before we get into it, I actually, when we were at university, um, my friend and I, we did one of our units was entrepreneurship. That was an actual subject. Okay, really? Um, yeah, yeah, it was an actual subject. And so, as part of the entrepreneurship thing, you had to do a business, uh, you know, business idea, and then mm -hmm. do a, um, you know, a business plan right, yeah. for it. And we got it down to two things on our list. One was like a children's soft play, uh, mm. very sensible, right? And the other one was to launch Chav Top Trumps. <laughs> Uh, and chav top trumps is what we went with in the end and we did this whole business plan around it and um we were going to get like chavs to like submit pictures of themselves like you'd, yeah you'd have made money on that especially sort of like mm, this is the days of woolworths when you you know you, you could still sell stuff at tills right yeah like um uh, impulse purchases but 
yeah, that was that was such a we should have done that. We should have just, just gone with it and just launched. Yeah. That was that was literally that would have been around two thousand and like three, two thousand and four. Or you might have missed the boat. I was gonna say sort of like prime chav ripping period was probably like late nineties and just becoming I mean, maybe two thousand two. Un PC. It might have been it, generally it might have been two thousand two, two thousand one. It would yeah. be around that at that time. But anyway, could have been known for Chav Trumps. What a miss. Decent. Yeah. It would have been good, man. Could have, made would have been so good. Could have made millions. Yeah. Or <laughs> Chav Trumps. At least thousands. <laughs> yeah. Could have at least broken even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what we've done as well, obviously this is a whiskey podcast, so we've poured three samples. Um, yeah. Samp- they're all blind, so they're fully blind, so we don't know which is which. Now, I've got Sassanac which is Sam Hewins whiskey, right? And um, Coach, Coach Built. Built, which is Jensen Button whiskey alongside the the founder of it was... George R. No, no, it's Kutsakis, something like that. Kutsakis. Yeah, when I put a tweet up midweek, I... I tagged a random Greek man with the same name that had nothing to do with whiskey. Oh my days. Also and he that, was loving it for a little bit. <laughs> also that post that you put up, um, which uh, kindly Jensen Button retweeted, you only had a bottle, a picture of Sassanac in it. And yeah. the reason for that, I understand Mike is because you couldn't be bothered to walk the 20 meters to, exactly. to the bottom of the garden to where Sorry, you store. Sorry Jensen, that summer house, 20 meters, mate. Not that 20 meters too far to get the bottle Even of coach. Even for built. you, bro. Even for you. <laughs> to put alongside it. <laughs> One of my heroes. Yeah. 20 meters. 20 and meters I think far. I'm still his last tweet. So the last thing he's done on Twitter was retweet my, or repost as it is now. As, Twitter, as it stands is. as of now, yeah. When last yeah. time I checked, yeah. yeah. And so I, I thank you, at, Jensen. Thanks yeah, for the retweet, thank you. Mike. I looked yeah. at the engagement, by the way, on uh, on my tweets. And um, so other tweets that I've done, which have been reasonably popular, probably had about, I think, a 1,000 people look at it was the peak I looked at. Jensen Button's one, 63,000. <laughs> right. Quite so the difference. Yeah, the impact of a uh, social media... F1 Influencer. Thank you, Jensen. And now it's time for the main event of the podcast, Celebrity Top Trumps. Introducing first, fighting out of California, England, a man who only ever orders brawn, boona at Indian restaurants, no rice, no naan, one time Formula One world champion, known as a smooth operator behind the wheel, Jensen Alexander. Liam's Button! <laughs> Presenting the challenger, fighting out of a castle in Scotland, a man who has charmed America, two-time gold derby winner for actor in Outlander, former Midsummer Murders fan, likes a pint of tenants, this man is not guilty, or is he? Sam the Sassanac Jewan! So, for the top trumps, mm. um, what I thought we would do is um, some different carries. So, I didn't realize how similar, um, you know, on paper, the, the two of them are. So, I'm just going to hit you with some stuff, right? Hit me. So, they're both 43 years old for a start. Well, the whiskey. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's cheap. Oh, yeah. That's oh. cheap for a 43-year-old. Hang whiskey. on. What's your control whiskey, Mike? So in, my control is in the uh, third the third sample of the three. Yeah, that you, so you still don't know which one it is in the, in which glass. But no, nope, all your blind. Sample? I got Lara to um, fill up the glasses for me. Yeah. So obviously Sassanac, Coach Built, and Black Label Johnny Walker, straight up twelve, um, which I think will be a reasonable comparison. Although the ABV is lower, I think yeah, just to give a a comparison with another blend. Mm. So I've got lineup. I've got obviously Coach Built Sassanac, and then I've gone with Lot Loman eighteen. Because mm. Sassanac is Loch Lomond, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's on their website. They sell the bottle. Um, it just happens to be a mixture of uh, malt, um, some, some some malts with some decent ages on them, I think, and mm. then some grain, right? Yeah. So, so we're going to see which one we pick out of the three and whether we can pick what they are. Um, I'm also fully blind, so I don't know. I've just got the glasses sitting next to me. I've got stickers on the bottom, so I don't know which one is which. Yeah. And uh, we won't know until we look at the end, right? Yeah. So we'll, the try and edit, we we'll try and edit our little tasting down so it's nice and quick and not too long for you. But in reality, yeah. we are taking a bit longer than it's going to sound. Well, I've been sipping them. I've been sipping them since we started chatting earlier. 
Fine. Fine. Yeah, so yeah. I, I've already, I've already, I've already picked what I think it is, but I'm going to keep going and see if I change my mind. Um, okay, so they're both 43 years old. Um, Jensen lives uh, in California, obviously known for being Formula One driver, right? Still a driver today. And Sam Hewnan is known as an actor, is an actor, and is known for Outlander. Yeah, and he lives uh, north of Glasgow. Stuck to his roots. Yeah, stuck to his roots. So um, Sam is 1.91 meters tall. People always love to talk about height, so I've put it in there. And Jensen is 1.82 meters tall, right? So, because me and you also, we also need to, well, so here's the thing, Mike, we also need to decide on what we're doing as the categories for our celebrity top trumps in case we want to do more in future. Because let's face it, they've also got Rod Stewart who's come onto the scene with Wolfie, right? So we could do some, you know, there's lots of celebrities now that seem to have whiskey. Yes, a popular it is, thing to do. Is height a, a justifiable category? Well, I'm, I don't, I'm not suggesting it is. I'm just giving you some information. <laughs> so um, I thought one which would make sense, given celebrities, right, would be awards. Yeah. Mm. Could we agree that maybe awards would be a decent category for our... I think so. For our HTAM top trumps, HTAM celebrities. How many trumps. awards have they paid for? Well, this, all I could find out was this in my researching. So obviously... I'm sure Jensen Button's probably won more than this, but the big one, obviously, was winning the Formula One World Championship in 2009 with Broad. So he's won a Formula One World Championship, hasn't he? Yeah. Also won 15 races. Which, like... That's easy, isn't it? It seemed seemed easy because (laughs) you had Schumacher smash it. Oh, mate, I Oh, you watched it? Okay, yeah. I've got a picture of Jensen I took in Singapore. Yeah. Um, Yeah, which I've had printed. Um, Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like, you know, yeah, a British guy has won the World Championship. Yeah, not that big a deal. And then you're like... No one's won it since Mansell, obviously a British person before that. And then even then, to actually win one is so difficult. I know like today they tend to just go on a massive streaks and stuff. And Schumacher did. But for him to come in in that gap and take a world championship. So yeah, to, to win the world championship in 2009 is an exceptional feeling and um, one that I will never forget. Hats off to you. I know his car was immense, but yeah, whatever. Still, uh, probably my favourite British driving champion. Yeah, it was my favourite as well um, to watch and to support. Mm. Obviously, I liked um, Hamilton as well, but um, I was more of a Jensen fan. And Jensen actually, I think, slightly outscored him over the time they were driving together. See, I always think Button is a bit more old school race driver. I like, I think... Yeah, he, he would have fitted in in the 70s. He'd have just been like round town getting smashed. Yeah, like Whereas with James Hunt. Um, yeah, but Lewis is like uber competitive, like absolute perfectionist is how I see him. And yeah, still a, still a legend, like unbelievable, but yeah. I don't know if it's just, I don't know if it's just um, sort of urban myth now, but what was always said about Jensen's driving was because of how he'd been karting and the tyres that, They'd, they'd put on his car or his dad had put on his car when he was younger. Um, he ended up being like one of the better drivers in the rain. I think that's what they always used to talk about. So whenever it was, it was rain, like raining or yeah. it was like unpredictable conditions, he was excelled. And that was what happened yeah. in Canada. I remember that Canada, I was in, um, I think I was in Malaysia at the time. So I was watching it in Malaysia in my, in my apartment. And that, that race was paused for like three hours. Do you remember? It was like, yeah. And I was just pacing around, like I had nothing else to do, obviously, on that day. I think it was pouring outside there as well. So I was like, I'm not going out. And I just remember, like, it wasn't just the fact that he, it wasn't just the fact that he won, well, he won from, was it back of the grid, I think. It was the yeah. fact that he, um, it was the fact that you'd had all that, pour, all that tension, all that build up, that huge pause in the race as well, because of what had happened. And so that when it finally kicked off again, you were just so uh, uh, grateful for the race to be going. And then on top of that, that's what happened. And he yeah. had that thing where he pressured v- uh, Vettel and he like went off the, you know, a few corners from the end, you know, so we could win it, right? I think from memory, unless I'm misremembering it. So Legend. anyway, so that's Jensen on one side. And then Sam Hewen, um, his awards, he has um, won the, I had to write it down, the Gold Derby 2015 Lead Actor. Good. And the Gold Derby. Is that a foot race? <laughs> No, I think it's some sort of acting award. I've not oh. heard of it, but the Gold Derby 2020 actor, and he's been nominated for a lot, but those are the two that I could find that he's he's won, some something called Gold Derby. So if we were calling awards a category, I'd have to give that category to Jensen. 
Yes, 100%. 100%. I think, yeah, he was going to smash that going into it. If you're going to score it, though, maybe like Jensen would be a sort of 8 out of 10 for awards and maybe you and a 5 out of 10. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, right. Sam. Sorry about that. But they don't do it like that, do they, with um, with top trumps? They um, they actually just score the uh, the overall number. Yeah, but we'll, it's our top trumps. We can do what we, we want. We do whatever we want, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we can do whatever we want. Yeah. Uh, so next category, uh, fitness. And this is, again, quite scary. So they're both mm. triathletes, apparently. I, I, I've never seen, you know, I've never seen them both do it in the, you know, in, in person, but they're both triathletes, apparently. Um, they're both, so therefore they both run marathons as well. Um, turns out, Hugh and they're both in shape, aren't they? Let's face it. They're both yep. buff, you know, probably stuck to some people's walls, like your wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Sam was known for saying that he like, enjoyed doing Muay Thai over Christmas or New Year or something like that. And uh, Jensen Button's into mountain biking and bodyboarding. And let's face it, he still actually drives, doesn't he? So I'd like to say the photo is hung, not stuck. Let me make that clear. I do like what, Sorry, what Button. was that about people being the hung? Photo, yeah, the photo <laughs> is hung, not stuck. So make right. it clear. Okay. Yeah. It's classy. Yeah. Yeah, it's classy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wipe. You can wipe it down. So um, I don't know. It's really close on fitness. I'd probably call it like a draw, really. Mm. Or, or maybe you give the edge to to old JB for being a world class driver as well. Again, I yeah, it's difficult. It's going to be a different kind of fitness because obviously Hugh and has well, to they're keep both in triathletes. Shape. But they're both six pack. He's massive. He's massive. Like he's a big lad. Yeah, he's very like, tall, isn't he? That's what we just yeah. said. Yeah, but also stocky. Like right. he is smashing the gym. Whereas Jensen's probably more. Uh, Svelte. A, a whip it. Yeah. But I don't know. Physically, I think at his peak, obviously, no question button. But the now, right now, I'd say Sam. Right. Sorry, Jensen. Okay. Let's go, Sam then. Yeah. So Sam takes fitness. Sam, I didn't know you'd go here. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Gym's in my life. Yeah. Hey, I love working out. And, well, How'd you think you get a body like this, huh? You know what? Chins aren't really my thing. This is awkward. I, I'm gonna get going. You do your thing. Oh, I'm no, just no, gonna. No, no, I'm, no, I'm no, gonna... no. You should stay. You should stay. Look. I'll be fine, Sassanis. Right. <laughs> right. The Outlander thing. That's funny. I get it. Yeah. I'm just. I'm, I don't know. I don't write. I'm writing this down. It doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> do you know what? Also, I'm loving this. These categories because I'm thinking ahead to other things we've got planned. Right. And I, and I know. Two guests that are going to really start getting into this if we do it with them, right? Um, and compare them physically and things like that. That's going to get the banter flowing. Will so it? That's good, oh, that's yeah. good to hear. Yeah. 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 So we've got awards. We've got fitness. Um, next one, sort of social media. I think it's twenty twenty three, so we sort of have to do it. And this is also really close. So, um, uh, Sam Hewen on Instagram has four point one million followers. Yeah. And on Twitter, um, point seven five million. So he gets a total of 4.8 million or 4.85 million, right? Yeah. And um, JB, Jensen's got 1.5 million on Instagram and 2.9 million on Twitter. So he's much more Twitter heavy. And that's 4.4 million. So Sam Hewen wins that round. I'm going to say that's the influence of a lot of um, uh, mid-30s onwards women in the USA. <laughs> yeah. Because... <laughs> Yeah, they, well, uh, so, some people I know, uh, a certain lady in America, literally would collapse at the mention of the name if she how, saw him. How well um, do you know these ladies, Mike? Uh, <laughs> next, <laughs> <laughs> no comments <laughs> in your in your job as a uh, official Sam Hewen standing. <laughs> <laughs> we do look alike, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. pretty much, bang on. <laughs> the category is blue steel do you remember zoolander the movie where they do like the the pose who who does the best poses <laughs> they've both had to do a fair few poses in their time most celebs do yeah and i think that would probably have to go to sam wouldn't it yeah think? i it's mean gotta that, be, that guy yeah. loves loves a uh, striking that, a pose that guy loves being bareback on a horse looking hench yeah and moody and yet brooding and yeah yeah 
it, he's a handsome fella. Oh my god! Um, what's the name of the fella? Um, who's who's the current um, uh, guy in Russia? What's he called? Oh, we have Vladimir Putin. Putin, right? that's the one. Yeah, he's yeah, there just, for now. Just, just. <laughs> Hewan and Putin love to be on the back of horses. Maybe that's how we could just solve this whole thing by just like, like Putin and Sam Hewan just having like an old school joust on a horse. Mm. Clear this whole shit up in one go. Do you remember Knight's Tale, the movie? Do you ever see that? Oh, yes. That was yeah. a great film. That's that a, that's was. a really it was light hearted tongue in cheek. Very tongue in cheek. Yeah. Very yeah. tongue in cheek. Yeah. Um, that was, that was Heath Ledger. It was. Yeah. Um, the guy that did um, Joker in that Batman film, sadly, before yeah. he, um, uh, you know, was no longer with us. But it, that Knight's Tale is is a really great film for like a Sunday afternoon if you're stuck in but to watch like sort of family friendly film ish, right? Yeah, man. brilliant. Had um, we will rock you as one of the songs uh, when they were doing the jousting contest. Yes, oh, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So what we've we got so far, we've got awards, fitness, followers, blue steel, blue four steel. categories. So we should then also, like you said, score the whiskey bottle, right? Yeah. This is celebrity whiskey top trumps, isn't it? Yeah. So what? what's, I mean, they're both. So they're both really. I mean, you're talking top grade bottle design, aren't you? Yeah. I, and the, I'm not saying that it's the case, but it could be that it's not obviously aimed at diehard whiskey drinkers. Sassanac is literally, if you think of a... A posh 19, I'm like the Savoy in 1930s, squirting soda into drinks. That's what I'm picturing. Um, so nice sort of square bottle, if you get what I mean. Sort of like, but no, it's a really bad description. <laughs> it's not square in the fucking slightest. It's got really like thin, it's, bar, it's thin lines running down. Yeah, we'll post the pictures anyway, so you'll see it online. Oh, you're, what but... you're saying is it has kind of like a 1930s hotel vibe. Right. It's very Art Deco. Art Deco. I was gonna, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a good shout. Art Deco. What yeah. about Coach Built then? Coach Built, completely unique. I've never seen anything like it. So it's clearly like full on custom design bottle. Mm. Um, it's like they've um, split the bottle into squares. Um, it's very much a sort of. Oh, I want to say if if that was sat in a Bentley, this bottle, yeah, it would fit in well. Nice, like, silver chrome cap, real clear lines and clean bottle. So which one's just... your favourite, then, of the two? <sighs> Uniqueness. It's got to be coach built. Yeah. But Sassanac is, like... To look at, though. Which one would I turn into a lamp? <laughs> I and it's going to be... It's that's gonna... the way, you're right, that's the way to look yeah. at it. Which one would you turn into a lamp? I'd turn the Sassanac into a lamp. But I love... Yeah, I love coach built... But if I was going to make a lamp... No, the, the category, Mike, is which one would you lamp? Question yeah. mark. <laughs> but do you love the lamp? Or yeah. are you yeah. just looking you at love, things and saying... Do you, you love, love lamp? Do you love lamp, though? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think my lamp award... Um, right, there we go. We can issue an, an award to Sassanak and Sam. He got the Honest or Malt Lamp Award. Lamp Award. For August 2023. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll, it, the it official, has to go to Yeah, we'll... <laughs> we'll 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 send the trophy in the post. Yeah. <laughs> it's just being. It's like the World Cup. It's just being carved now yeah. as we speak. Uh, it's, literally it's, carving. It's going to be made of uh, plastic, yeah. um, coated in a, a yellow metal finish. Uh, yeah. Also plastic. But, you're, um, but the name will be carved lab. into it. So yeah, that's something isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we should got, actually reach out. We should do that. That'd be absolutely quality. <laughs> the lamp award. The lamp award. It is, August. but it is like like it is. Both are very good looking bottles, but both yeah. of them, um, but particularly the Sassanac, is a really beautiful bottle. And um, it's up there with things like Habiki, I would say, mm. uh, Tamdu, some of my favorite, Y Works, um, yeah. some of my favorite bottles. It's up there. You look at it and you just think, wow, they got that right. Yeah. yeah. And I think, if, like I just sort of going back to originally, their, their target audience is not the whiskey geek. And, and, there's, and there's nothing wrong with making no, a, there's a nothing sexy, wrong with sexy that. bottle. I mean, yeah. that's part if, of it. If a if you were going it's into product, a, a whiskey store and you saw these two beautifully sort of presented bottles and you didn't really know anything about whiskey, you would your eye would be drawn to these two straight away. And again, you would probably get some flack for it, but yeah, why not? The bottle is absolutely beautiful. You look at look at Rasse, their bottle is stunning. 
and that's like a single malt whiskey but they appreciate good design and for me yeah there's no shame in that and if it helps them get sales happy days so what yeah it just shows they're putting effort into it and thought mm. defo like I'm, I'm trying the whiskies as well as we do this as well so mm. sorry for me being slow so price has to be a category as well or value it just does right and there is a chasm between the two mm. so i've gone with so i think coach bill was about for 45 50 quid about that isn't it um yeah i think it is 50 let me just quickly google it double double price. check well sassanac's yeah, definitely 80 pounds yeah because i bought that last week definitely i got a sample of it from master of malt um there's seven pounds to buy so if you wanted to try it you can buy it from master of malt for seven pounds um if you've got their prime then you can obviously get it delivered no no charge 43 pound 50 on whiskey exchange right so obviously the coach bill's winning that by a country mile i mean there's a huge price difference right yeah know? so yeah blended uh, with spirits of five of scotland's whiskey producing regions married together in ex sherry casks oh there, there was some something else i noticed about both of them because obviously there's always the marketing spiel isn't there yeah and so um uh, Sassanac is described as a pr- premium blended, Ooh. while uh, Coach Built describes itself as ultra premium. <laughs> ultra premium. Ultra premium. Yeah. That's like, yeah. Does and that I th- mean it comes with like the highlighter yellow, ultra yellow? That's and I think like the majority of Sassanac is Loch Lomond, um, uh, yep. mol- molten grain, um, uh, whereas uh, Coach Built is from five regions around Scotland and then finished in premium sherry. Yeah. Um, and it describes itself as smooth, rich, and balanced. But they, they do both have slightly different um, tasty notes given. But what we're going to do yeah. is we're going to we, we've just put down what we're sort of getting. We're going to put down what we're getting on the whiskies, mm-hmm. and then see. So so far we've got um, awards, which um, went to Jensen Fitness, yep. which you gave slightly to Sam. Although I think it's really a draw on fitness. Yep. I mean, I would, yeah. For me, it's definitely followers was won by Sam. Um, oh my God! Yeah. Blue Steel was won by Sam. Um, uh, which one would you lamp? As in, which one is the most lampable bottle? Which one Sam. could you turn into a lamp, Sam? So, But then value or price, obviously, coach built. So <clears throat> we need to get into uh, to finding out which whiskey is the better whiskey in our blind yeah, experiment, we do. don't we? Really, really hard. Don't go flat out down the straight because you're acroplane off like I did in 94. There yeah. you go. You crashed on a straight. I crashed on a straight. All right, yes, but it was very, very, it was coming out of the last corner onto the straight. Oh. Yeah. So should we get back into it and um, let's find out, let's yeah. find out which, which one we prefer and then we'll do the unveil, okay? So I think it's probably best if we go through in one go each so you can talk through yours, then I'll talk through mine. And, and what? Then do I, the reveal after that. After. So I've yeah. got mine in A, B, C, or one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, no, I was going to ask you. So, in terms, have you oh. separated yours in terms of like nose and palate, or have you just gone, I prefer this one? No, so um, I've, I've done some tasting notes on them yeah. and, and what I get. Um, but in order to help me to identify which ones I think it is, I scan the tasting notes on their website, which okay. I think is a really interesting test in itself because. People talk about the power of suggestion, but if it helps me to identify the whiskey, then it's not the power of suggestion. That stuff's actually in the whiskey, right? Yeah. And that's a big part of them getting their whiskey right. They need to actually be able to tell you things you should actually be able to taste in the whiskey true. or smell in yeah, the whiskey. Very true. So for me, that's a real test. And I've never done this before, so I'm not going to lie to you, Mike. I'm a bit excited. Yeah. <laughs> I have a semi. <laughs> when, <laughs> a semi. <laughs> Whenever we do blind tasting, we're usually just saying what we get. We don't usually bother to go and see what they yeah. say they actually get in the bottle. So in this case, I've also looked at the notes to see then written down what I've got. So for A or one, whatever, I'm going to s- describe this one. I'm going to surmise it as a uh, coffee with a caramel and spice kick. Okay. okay. Like, like a cream coffee, like a cream coffee with a spa- caramel and spice kick. Okay. And I feel like this one has grain in it. Yeah. Right. Um, it's not it's not harsh that's not fair it's it's, it's they i think all three are pretty smooth smooth mm-hmm. smooth, but smooth. Down again. yeah <laughs> but maybe of the three it's the least s- smooth right? okay um and uh, i really only really get on those you know those things i mentioned like um caramel cinnamon spice coffee that's it it's very drinkable mm-hmm. nothing exciting going on 
at all. Fair enough. And I think, do you want me to say which one I think it is? Uh, yeah, what do you think A is? I think, for me, in the order I've yeah. got them, I think A is coach built. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, and it's so, my, if, if well, we'll find out, Yeah. but of the three, it is my least favourite. So you've got that in third place. Yeah. There you go. So what is your second? What's your B? Oh, so I'm doing, all, I'm doing all three, am I? Yeah, do all three. Right. <clears throat> okay, so B, um, I've described that as fruity and smooth. <laughs> I think that one's also got grain on it. Um, yeah. Tropical fruits, uh, particularly. So I get things like apricot on the nose um, and honey on the palate um, and vanilla and cinnamon. And as I said, I've obviously had a look at what they say the tasting notes are. So yeah. I think that one is the Sassanac. Um, and that is, um, I prefer that one to Dram 1. It's very fruity. Yeah. Yeah. And let's face it, it's Lot Loman, known for its fruitiness. So I think that's Sassanac. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Fruity and smooth. And is that second or first in your line? Second. Right. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Because I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could be I could be wrong. wrong. I don't know. So, yet. this is like C is your favorite dram. C is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. And I've called this one classy black currant creme brulee yeah. served in an old drawing room. Oh, you know it's your favorite because you've got all wanky. Yeah, because it's a bit more complex. Good. Yeah. No, I like <laughs> so, it. So, uh, I, I, I think this is the 18 year old Lot Loman. Um, okay. It's just more going on. Yeah. No grain no grain you can tell of at all. It's all malt. Um the nose has more going on in terms of like age and depth. And um it's richer overall. Still a bit fruity. Maybe there's a hint of smoke, just a hint, but it's so faint. Yeah. Um uh but yeah, overall just richer and a bit more um, not just fruity, whereas number two is just fruity. Whereas yeah. this one is fruity and, right? Yeah. More interesting. Fruit turned up to 11. It's more than that. It's like, <laughs> you know, like the... It's just you, got a bit You get of like old old it. cabinets in it, maybe like an empty, yeah. uh, like, you know, empty cigar box or that type of yeah. thing, you know, like... A bit more complexity, which you'd expect from something that's sat in wood a bit longer. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Nice. So that's what I think. And I still don't know. And I'm right. really praying that I've got this right. We need you to do your reveal then. Am and I doing mine first? You go straight in. Yeah, we'll do it completely separate. It's not because we got different right. drums. So. Let's do it like this then. So you can see. Yeah. Right. I'm going to finish it off. Uh, that is an upside down CB, but mainly B, I'm going to say. So CB, CB, coach built. Oh, yes. That makes Dram more one. sense. I go, what the fuck? <laughs> So Dram, Dram 1's Coach Built, so I was right. Yeah. So you were correct. So Coach Built. Yeah, Dram 2. Let's see, you ready? Bottom yeah. of the glass. Mike's, I'm, yeah. Sassanac, I assume SS. SS. So I was right, Sassanac. It's good, yeah. that. Yeah. Which means Dram 3 by the power of, I'm not going to just swig this one out, but that means Dram 3 is definitely. Lock Loma Day 18. Yeah. Wow. Nice. So I, got them all, I got them all right. Yes. So you got them all right. And yeah, you had them in price order. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's so, the reason I use a lot of Loman 18 is because it's £85, so it's £5 more than the beautiful. Sassanac. Happy yeah. days. Right, right, over to you, Mike. Let's over to you, me. I'm going to... Um, I can't see this. Hang on. You're holding up your phone. I'm holding up my phone, so I'm going to... I'm still not looking at my screen. Yeah, 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 I can see, can yeah. Can you see the order in which they're going and what Yeah, I can. Are. I know the order now. Yeah, Sweet. so I can... Okay. Yeah. So... You can put your phone down and I'll tell you. I'm locking so. it. I'm not looking. So... Um, in terms of ABC, so for me, Dram A, don't forget I'm doing Coach Built, Sassanac, and Johnny Walker 12. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dram A was thin, slight cardboard element to it. Apples, um, a lot of grain. I yeah. broke that off. Definitely bottom of the three. Worst of the me. three. Um, I'm not going to guess what they are because I haven't really looked at the tasted notes like you did. So right. I'm just saying... That was my least favorite, number yeah. three. Uh, a, third place, not interested. As I moved on to B and C, it did get sort of um, slightly closer in terms yeah. of what I enjoyed. So B, I was getting 
Um, slight hint of smoke, hazelnut. Um, there was a sourness, a bitterness, mm. which I usually say is like peanut skin type of like sourness, but loads of coconut on the nose as well. Um, you just say and, coconut on everything, I don't you? I mean, coconut. Hey, I'm, I love coconut. So your I do favorite like tasting pick it up. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it a lot. But I got it in that. It was on the nose. So B was my first choice. So number one. Right. I think that was the best of the three. And then moving on to C, um, you could tell the grain in there, but that's not a bad thing. Um, it was lemony. There was um, still quite a lot going on there. It was quite like hints of chocolate and sort of a little bit of coffee and things like that. But right, coffee overall just turned down a bit. So mm. I know you said coffee before, and I think you said that was going to be the Sassanac coach, coach built coffee coach built right coach built yeah okay. coffee so, and chocolate yeah not sure but that was my number two so um right so B number one C second and then A last so I get to tell you now because you showed me the the picture gonna, that Lara sent on your phone yeah do you, do you want me to tell you or do you want to look at it <laughs> ah you look at it now just brought it up so yeah. I chose the Sassanac. Sassanac first, was, yeah. Then the yeah. coach built, then Johnny Walker, Black Label, number 12. And you picked out the coffee and chocolate in coach built, which they say that, that there is, right? Yeah. But you didn't necessarily pick out, you didn't talk much about the fruitiness in the Sassanac, but what's no. your favourite? So my question would be, why was Sassanac your favourite of the three? You, to be clear, you did Johnny Walker 12, Sassanac and coach built, and you picked yeah. Sassanac as your favourite. Why yeah. was it your favourite? Just had a bit more going on with like varying tasting notes. So it had that chocolate, coffee, coconut, things like that, but it was also the fruit um, within it. But very, to, to me, it was more coffee and chocolate and things like that. And it's like mm. I said, that sour, slight hint of smoke just had more going on for me. Yeah. Um, but it was very, very close. And it, I'll be honest, the only thing that really tipped me over was the coconut. So that was it. To me, they were very, oh. very on par. I thought it was like slightly it. smoother and, and a bit fruitier, which which I would be more inclined to go with. Um, but yeah. for price, I mean, but also eighty pounds. Your palate wasn't getting ruined by the Johnny Walker Twelve <laughs> <laughs> in between. So I was going through the three. I going, hey, hate it. Really, just do not like it at the moment. But let's let's have let's have the serious element of the conversation now, which mm. is so f- to be clear, sat we so in celebrity top trumps, Sassanac. Yep. Has Sassanac won the category of won. uh the taste test. Yeah. Yeah. So it's beaten yeah. coach built. Yeah. But and you know, this is a big but. Um for 80 pounds, mm. having now you tasted them, mm-hmm. what's your what's your vibe? On there's it? not there's not a 40 quid difference between coach built and Sassanac mm. for me. So so yeah, if you if you think in terms of right, I've got fifty or I want to buy a whiskey and yeah, it's going to be one of the, to me, one of these three. If you think Johnny Walker 12 at a supermarket is what 25 to 30 quid on a given mm. day. They're both hands, feet, ears, everything above that. Like forget the Johnny Walker for an extra tenner, the coach built for, I know it doesn't mean anything, the presentation, yeah. um, the actual taste of what's going on in there, that's decent value to me for, for 40 quid. That's going to look, if you've only got a couple of whiskeys out and you're not a huge like whiskey geek, that's going to look 40, really nice. 43, wasn't it, or something like that? Yeah, it's going to look really nice in the display. Um, so and- you're saying is, despite having gone through all of the celebrity top trumps and and Sam Hugh and beating Jensen Button in, in yeah. the majority of character, uh, categories, you'd still be more likely to get the coach bill. I would I would not spend the extra 40 to get the Sassanac. Like, even though it's just topped it out on overall for me, yeah. it's not 40 quid better. So do, I do, would all day long get the coach bill. I mean, obviously the same. But, um, well, of my three, if I was going to spend that money and I wanted to get, you know, I mean, I picked a, a Lot Loman 18 in the mm. blind. I'd get the Lot Loman 18 and spend an extra five if I wanted to spend 80-ish pounds. Yeah. But... um. But I still think, regardless, if you take price out of it, yep. then Sassanac's a great whiskey. Sassanac's so better than Coach Just Bill. Just forget about price for a second. But obviously, yeah. price is, value is everything, isn't it? Yeah. So um, I guess if you're not staring at a picture of the celebrity whilst you're drinking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or watching the TV program. But, uh, 
I think yeah. both both equally drinkable. Well, what what could we? Drams. What would we recommend instead, though? Like, so if you if you if you've got you know three bottles of Satanac and you want to branch out and get something else, um, or I mean, the obvious thing to do would be to explore the lot of Roman range if you really like oh. Satanac, yeah. And you know. it's quite hard as I sip from it to turn down the Rioja. Yeah. Um, Loch Lomond Open, which is the 151st Royal mm. Liverpool Open Edition. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a red wine pervert. We all know that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. That was a bargain. Yeah. it's. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. Oh, hang on. Let me just. Quickly. It doesn't matter. But it yeah, was going to be, what, 40, 40, 50 quid or something like that. Yeah. I remember, I remember a while back um, there was um, Loch Lomond 12 Special Edition. Uh, which I think is very similar to all the same as the 12, which was on sale for 25 quid somewhere. That's a bargain. Yeah. That, was that Loch Lomond Rioja was 42 quid. Right. Good and value. Yeah. Good value. Wine cast pervert. Wine cast pervert. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, look, um, I think we can conclude there for the, uh, for the episode. Yeah. Um, we, you know, if you, if you, if you like Sassanac or you like Coach Bill, I think is a good blend. Sassanac's yep. obviously a good blend, but if you like Sassanac and you want to trade to something else and you've got plenty of budget, you can move to any 15-year-old malt. Just yep. look for one which is uh, fruity with no peat. Yeah, right. You, you'll get on really well with Plenty it. of Speyside Smoke. or yeah. Highland distilleries will offer that. Yeah. yeah. Including Loch Lomond. <laughs> Including Loch Lomond, yeah. Including Funnily Lomond. enough. <laughs> Funnily yeah. enough, yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, but if you're looking for an affordable nice looking blend for your bar it's hard to turn your nose up a coach built so yeah yeah sam hewan has done a good job because i think he was heavily involved as well in selecting stuff so yeah he selected it from briefly. apparently um according to yeah. michael it wasn't just to, yeah. put your name on it no no he no he, actually... he took the time trouble to select it and, yeah. and pick it out from an x number of like you know made blends um yeah. so yeah a lot of effort obviously goes into this so yeah. you know, hats off to, to everyone the founder george of uh, Coach Bill Jensen for tying in with him. <laughs> like you skipped over Just his surname again. Pats on the pats on the pats on the bums for everyone. Good, good Hat, hats job, off everyone. to random Greek bloke George. I tagged as well yeah. because you've had a part of this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and the and the weather's weather's hot over there at the moment as well. Yeah, so exactly. stay cool, yeah, right? Stay cool. Stay cool. <laughs> right. Well, thanks so much. Thanks for listening to another episode from me. Yeah, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, leave a five star review if you like us. If you don't like us, don't leave a review. Don't be that person. Um, follow us on all the socials and get involved like reply to us we do love the engagement yeah the puddings what, what pudding yeah. would you have on an island what yeah. dram for 30 days what album yeah who's going to pick you up yeah have, have you tried these whiskies let yeah. us know what you think mega alright yeah. we'll see you on the next one take care bye 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 <laughs>